A number of things really help you in math. Building with shapes and games, or in origami, building with Legos, playing board games such as backgammon, or lots of others, and playing with some apps and computer games. We'll show you some really good ones in the last session of the course. But there is a problem. The really useful games for math learning are often in the boy aisles of toy shops. In lots of stores, you will see aisles that are pink, meant for girls, and aisles that are blue, meant for boys. Um, the aisles that have lots of dolls and things to care for are for girls, and the blue ones, for boys, have building and construction toys that are really good for math. This is an example of shops trying to box you in. They are using what is called stereotyped thinking. They are making life unfair by encouraging some kids to do valuable things and not giving others access to them. Always resist stereotype thinking. Always. Don't let yourself get boxed into any area. The ideas in the world are for everyone to enjoy, whether they're reading, puzzle building, programming a computer. Never let anyone tell you that an idea is not for you or that you cannot do well in math. If they tell you these things, then that is because they don't know the latest research on the brain and learning. In later sessions of the course, we'll teach you the strategies that will help you grow your brains the most and achieve the most math success. For now, we want to end this session by asking for your help. We want to learn about the ways to communicate the messages we've given you to more people and to people of different ages. And we'd like you to help us by writing down the main messages you learned in lesson one, but written for somebody of your own age. Don't worry about perfecting wording or using the right spelling, but what are three important things you learned today that everyone your age should know? Write a paragraph for us, please.